I'm SirTapTap, and this is my oasis again. I guess I've pretty much finished this one at this point. It doesn't seem like um, it's really possible to get beyond level 2000 or so. Um, so this is what a level 2000 oasis looks like. I think what weather you have affects the oasis. It seems like um, there was a tip, you know, one of these little things you have the speech bubble and they give you a little hint. Um, there was a thing that said that if there's only sun, you'll get nothing but desert. And that's not entirely accurate, but it does seem like if you have rain, you get a bit more greenery. Um, so what I've done here is... The most important method of progression is so... This is one of those prestiging-based uh, idle games where you need to reset the game every, you know... Once the game starts getting slow after level 500, you reset the game. Then you can buy these treasures, right? So... It took a while, but I maxed out all the treasures. The, ma the treasures all maxed out at 20. And honestly, if the effects of the treasures do not matter too much. Um, it's nice to get these, the ones that reduce the upgrade cost and increase the uh, amount of puzzle pieces you get. But generally speaking, the important thing about the treasures is that they in it increases your vitality or resources or whatever it's called. Um, by the more things you have, the more it increases here. So I'm getting 65 billion times the based amount because I have everything max here. It increases gradually, but uh, just basically buying all the cheapest treasures is what matters. And um, yeah, there's not really too much to the game other than the most important thing are those treasures. Um, these, the virtues here, the idle vitality, you might call it. Uh, they don't matter too much. You want to keep the levels about as even as you can. I What I usually do is I upgrade by 10 and I start upgrading at the bottom because these are usually the worst. No, no, that is a cord. Do not eat that. No. Look, I'll play with you after the video. Calm down. Calm down. No, calm down. Um, yeah, upgrade from the bottom first and... Um, you just keep going until you run out and upgrade the next one and so on. That's usually what I do. Um, but the virtues, the problem with the game is, so nothing really matters as much as tap vitality. As you can see, the tap resources I'm getting here, 8M. And that is like a hundred times, more than a hundred times what I'm getting for, or wait. I guess just about 80 times what I'm getting from, from per second. So as long as I tap once per second, I get more. Um, as far as the skills, uh, the rain cloud is by far the most effective, so you want to upgrade that the most. And then the cherry blossoms are the second best. Then I guess nature's affection, and then the blooming nature is pretty bad. The dandelions do not really help very much. As you can see, they don't have they have a pretty low effect. But yeah, the the core loop of the game is just to reset as much as you can, basically. And, I mean, it's neat to see all the different stuff. That is... Let's go into camera mode, shall we? Or actually, let's do the... <laughs> this is actually neat mode. This is like guided tour mode sort of thing that you can see. It kind of swoops around all serene-like. It does have a very good, like, chill vibe to it. I was hoping... I don't know, for some matter of finality to the whole deal, but... Like I said, you do get random stuff, and, um... Like, on an earlier map, I had this big old volcano with a skull in it that, like, pours lava, and that's neat. And so I've got a windmill, and like I said, a lot more greenery in here. And my oasis is a bit more of a lake at this point, which is nice. So it's neat to see how the oasis shapes, and I guess that's the real thing in the game, is just watching the life grow and stuff. You know, the, the progression is, you know just to get there faster. And in a way, I guess that's kind of a relief, you know? You don't need to worry about getting to the end. You just know that at this point, you know, if you can get to level 12,000 or 2,000, you know, you're pretty much at the end and you can just reset and be like, yeah, I'll get my things. Never buy the reset bonus, by the way. It's not really worth it. So now you got some more puzzle pieces that I can't spend. I'm gonna get like 5,000, like that's, like 5,000, that is a lot of puzzle pieces, by the way. Um, at like max cost, they're like 3,000, so like, it's not like Politicats. In Politicats, the re, um, doing the things gets ridiculously expensive. But as you can see, I get C vitality per click here, so I can like immediately 
upgrade. I think I can immediately, yeah, I can immediately go up past 500, so I can basically instantly re-prestige if I want to. Let's change the weather, shall we? Excuse me. Um, let's do a sunny day and see if that changes things up a bit. There we go. Play a song of the sun there. It does lag a bit when you upgrade infinity billion things at once. So now we're getting a nice mountain now. We didn't have any mountains in the last one. Alright, now we're finally... Might finally have to actually try. For a bit. See, we're almost... I can go straight to 1000 now. With all of this extra crap. Which... At 1,000, you have... It's most of it. See, as you can see, there's a lot more... Uh, do giraffes live in the desert? I guess it's more of a savanna thing, right? I mean, savannas are like... Grassy deserts? I don't know. But yeah, it's a lot more deserty now. But there's... There's a nice little mountain. Let's just see how high we can get up. Like, the, the, the sad thing about maxing out at 2,000... Oh, there's that volcano I was talking about. The sad thing about it maxing out at level 2000 is that getting to like level like 1500 is like incredibly fast. But then going beyond that is basically impossible. So it like caps out really quick, at least once you have maximum treasures. Like the game is like designed specifically to not be possible past 2000 at this point in time. I mean, maybe they'll upgrade it and you know, in updates. So as you can see, the, the, the oasis is smaller, and we actually have quite a lot of green. I guess, as you grow, it seems to get more green, and of course the oasis does grow to some extent. I like the, the waterfall in the mouth of the thing there. But yeah, as you can see, we can get, with basically zero effort, with all of these, granted, a huge amount of treasures. But yeah, we can get basically right up in beyond 1,500, like, just so close. Oh, there's an elephant! I don't think we had an elephant in the last thing. I think the progression of animals in each region is kind of the same, but you're not necessarily going to have the same regions every time. So yeah, personally, I consider myself done with my oasis. Uh, I'll watch if there's updates. I have a guide for this, if this was not mentioned. I think I mentioned this in the first video. If you're playing this game, uh, I have a guide for all of the stuff. It's a fairly simple one. It's you do the prestige thing, you do your stuff. Uh, oh, one thing I should note. So these journeys, this this level, this somewhere farther away journey. As far as I can tell, it's literally not in the game. Like it's hard to tell. Like what what stuff like this means if like that's an unlock later, but no, it's just not in the game as far as I can tell. But yeah, that's my oasis. It's pretty. There's not. An incredible amount to it, but being able to see the different oasis is, is nice. Oasis is, 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 is. I'm not entirely sure how many different like mega structures or whatever you want to call the thing here is. Um, like this one's a pretty common one. And obviously we got the windmill before. I'm not sure if there's like just a few of those. So like it's not gonna be incredibly completely different every time. I mean it's like the same parts but in different combinations basically. But it's fun to see a few times. But yeah, that's my oasis. If you're playing, I hope you can figure or work your way to this point without too much trouble. Let's see some nice dusk, shall we? Before we leave. So I find this is a lot more easy. This is a lot easier to play either on my computer or on a tablet then it's a little the menus are a little awkward on a phone honestly anything that's landscape unless it has a very minimal ui is going to be kind of awkward on a phone but yeah that's my oasis tap tap tuning out